All right, good morning guys. Today is a very exciting day. We are currently at Long Beach right now because we are going to take the little ferry from Long Beach to Catalina. So this is my first time going to Catalina, which is like a little island off of California, Long Beach. So I'm really excited to show you guys what the island's like now. Here are our ticket. This is from Long Beach to Avalon, which is basically Catalina Island. And this is the boat flash line to go there. Thank you. So yeah, we made it onto the little boat. There's the indoors and outdoors. The first floor is the indoors and the second floor is the outdoors. So it's kind of chilly right now. So that's why we're currently sitting in the, the first floor in the indoors. And then they have like a little snack shop here if you want to buy anything, but I heard it's kind of overpriced. So I'm just going to wait until we get on the island before we buy stuff to eat and see what activities they have. Hello, a mother and daughter's Catalina trip day. We're basically on this boat for an hour. We left at 9.50 and we'll probably get there around 11. And everyone's just chilling on the boat. Maybe I'll see if I can go upstairs to see if I can get like an upstairs outdoor view. And yes, there are restrooms here too. So that's good. And that's the Queen Mary. So yeah, like when the weather is really nice and it's sunny, it's definitely nice to sit on the top and look outside. But currently it's a little bit gloomy and it's kind of chilly. So I'm just going to go back in because I'm a little bit cold right now. But today's weather should be better in the afternoon. So I'm hoping that things will warm up in a little bit. So I'll see you guys at Avalon. We made it to Catalina. So I guess there's like two different sides. There's Avalon and there's two harbors. So we landed on the Avalon side. So we're going to go to the activities booth right now so we can grab our tickets and start doing some tours on the island. So I guess, yeah, for what the tour guide title does, the shape of Catalina is like moon shaped. So you can literally just walk from one side to the other. So I think we're on one side right here. And I think the casino over there is like the other side. But she said it's only like a 40 minute walk. So you can rent your own golf course and drive it around the island over there. So this is the booth where you get the activities and tour tickets. Oh my God, I am so sad slash pissed right now. So apparently we went to the booth there because we want to do the sightseeing Discover Avalon tour where they take you on a bus to tour the whole island. But now they said they ran out of tickets. And the thing is like you can buy these tickets online beforehand. And I was like looking at doing that. But then I was like, oh, they said they were going to take us here to get the tickets. I didn't think it would be that crowded, but it's sold out. So yeah, I would highly recommend pre-booking these excursions and tours online before you come. Adding on to the bad news, I try to look at the other tour. For example, they have the Ridge Top Eco Adventure. That one's all booked out too. They have like a bison edition. It's all sold out too. I don't want to do any water activities because I didn't plan for that. Ah, this is so frustrating. Okay, so basically now the story is the tour guide told us to go to another tour excursion booth, which is basically across from where the library is. We went there, talked with the lady. She said, yeah, right now there's only two expeditions left for today, which is the submarine one and then the one where the casino is. So we've decided to just do the casino one first. I believe the casino is actually not really a casino. It's kind of like the performance arts type of theater thing. And then you kind of explore it by yourself, but we'll see. So we're just going to walk there right now and then probably get some lunch after that and then we'll to see whether or not we'll do the summary.
The Catalina Casino is not only an architectural marvel but also a cultural landmark, hosting events and movie screenings. One thing about this building is that it's very old and it's kind of musty. So there's like a musty smell in the restrooms. It's like very dark and gloomy. Catalina Island, with its rich history and stunning natural beauty, is a gem off the coast of Southern California. To give a brief history about the island, the island has been inhabited for at least 7,000 years with the Tonga people being the earliest known residents. Portuguese explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo claimed it for the Spanish Empire in 1542, and it was later named by another explorer, Sebastian Vizcaino, in 1602. I think you should visit the island because the island is known for its unspoiled beaches, clear waters, and diverse ecosystems. Another reason why I think you should visit is because the island's history is deeply intertwined with Hollywood and has been a backdrop for over 500 films. So they didn't have the combo special because I guess they didn't have the pie. So I just got a regular cheeseburger with fries. Moment after moment, it's kind of like disappointment. Uh, I'm trying to make the most out of the day, but it's kind of hard because I kind of had a vision of what today was going to be like. All right, so we just finished lunch. Man, it was okay. Very pricey though. Two people, we ordered two drinks, like $48. Anyway, so at 3 p.m. I signed us up for the other expedition that's not fully booked, which is basically like a submarine type of tour thing. So I just got it online and then we have to go to the pier to redeem our tickets. So yeah, the green pier, we're just gonna go redeem our tickets and then just wait. Whether you're looking for a tranquil escape or an action-packed adventure, Catalina Island offers a little bit of paradise for everyone. Its history, culture, and natural splendor make it a must-visit destination. Catalina Island is not only a beautiful destination off the coast of California, but also home to an unexpected population of American bison. What makes these bison so special is that the bison were originally brought to Catalina Island for a movie in 1924. After the film, the bison were left on the island, and over time, they became one of its most famous attractions. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see any bison this trip, as all the expedition tickets for this excursion was sold out, but next time I visit, I will for sure book the tickets in advance. So just it's on the top of the deck. We're just outside enjoying the view and the breeze before we head back. So yeah, I thought the underwater submarine expedition was really cool. I like that one a lot better than the glass bottom eagle tour that we did in Long Beach. It felt like because we saw more fish shells, it was like more interesting. Anyways, after that, we wanted to rent a golf cart, but I believe they closed already because basically we had to be back on the ferry by six and it's ready or four and i was thinking of renting a golf cart to drive to the botanical gardens which is like further up on the hill but i don't know i just feel like it's not enough time and then the botanical garden closes at five anyway so we're basically just taking it easy just eating our ice cream just relaxing
All right, guys, and this is pretty much the end of the trip. We just spent the last hour just sitting here, chilling, looking at the view and smelling the ocean breeze. Out of the two activities we did today, I think I prefer the underwater submarine expedition. I thought just seeing all the kelp and all the fishes is really cool. Just like sit on the top deck was really nice to like enjoy the sun. I felt like the casino, interesting to look at, but there's it's like nothing really going on so it's just like you go in look around kind of like that catalina is like a really nice place for couples and families to relax and hang out by the beach and whatnot there are some hotels here and i know some people actually stay here for a couple of days or whatnot to just enjoy like the little island here there's also a lot of water activities but today was a little bit cold to do that this is my first time coming here so i thought it was really cool like I only really explored one part of the island, which is the Avalon side. I think there's also another side, which I didn't go to today. So yeah, I guess maybe next time. So Mai, how do you think of today and the trip? Oh, the trip is so wonderful. Did you have fun today? I feel so happy with my daughter. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you.